Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. Just like last year, Google decided to announce the upcoming version of Android way before the company's developer conference and this year is no exception. Google has just released the first preview build of its next major Android version which is named as Android O. And if you own a Pixel, Pixel XL, Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Nexus Player or Pixel C, then you can try this upcoming Android version right now and that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a full step-by-step -step tutorial to install Android O on your Pixel and Nexus devices. Excited? So let's get started. Android O focuses more on power management and notification grouping and it comes with plenty of new APIs allowing developer to create apps that will improve your Android experience. There are some major changes in this Android version which includes a major redesign of setting menu. Now before starting with the process of installing Android O, I will highly suggest you to watch this video till the end and repeat the steps as shown in this video. Now with that being said, let's head over to the developers option which can be enabled by tapping the build number several times. Once it is enabled, go to the developer option and enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Now connect your device with your PC via USB cable and you will see that the drivers start installing, so wait until it gets finished. In the meantime, download the Android O firmware for your specific device from the official website. In my case, I am downloading it for my Nexus 6P. Now there is one more zip file which you have to download which is called Fastboard zip file. I will leave the download link of both the files in the description box so you can download it from there. Once both the files are downloaded, extract both the zip files. Now open the firmware folder and copy bootloader, image and radio file to the fastboot folder. Now before we move forward, I will highly suggest you to make a backup of your data and apps because in order to install Android O, we have to unlock the bootloader of your Nexus or Pixel device which will erase all the data on the device. Once backup is done, switch off your device and hold volume down plus power button at the same time for few seconds until you see this Android logo. This will basically boot your device into fast boot mode. Now connect your device to the PC via USB cable and head over to the fast boot folder. Now hold shift and right click on the mouse and click this option which says open command window here. This will basically open the command window, now type fastboot devices and press enter to confirm that your USB drivers are installed properly or not. Now as you can see it is showing my device listed which means my USB drivers are installed properly. But if it is not showing on yours then head over to the description box and download the ADB drivers and install it then reboot your PC and repeat the same process. Now the first thing which you have to do is to unlock the bootloader of your device because if your bootloader is not unlocked, you will not be able to install this Android O update. So to unlock the bootloader, open command window and type fastboot space flashing space unlock and press enter. This will pop up a prompt on your device so head over to your device and select yes and press power button to confirm. Now your bootloader is unlocked and all your data has been wiped out. Once that is done, type fastboot space reboot and press enter. This will basically reboot your device. Now you have to set up your device. Once that is done, again go to the developers option and enable USB debugging and boot your device into fastboot mode. Now head over to the fastboot folder and open command window and type fastboot space flash space bootloader space boot and press tab key. This will automatically put the name of the bootloader image file so you don't have to type this weird name. Now press enter to execute your command. Now type fastboot space reboot dash bootloader and press enter to reboot the bootloader. Now type fastboot space flash space radio space radio again press tab key and press enter. Now again type fastboot space reboot dash bootloader and press enter. Now you are almost done. 
the last command which you have to type is fastboot space minus w space update space image then press tab key and enter this will actually install the system image and this may take some time so be patient and wait until the installation is completed it will hardly take 3 to 5 minutes depending on your device once the installation is finished, it will automatically reboot your device and if it's not automatically rebooted, then type fastboot space reboot and press enter to reboot your device. Now once the boot is finished, set up your device and now you have successfully installed the latest Android O on your Pixel or Nexus devices. So let's quickly head over to the setting menu which has been redesigned and find the about section. Now as you can see it is saying Android O which means now you have the latest version of Android which brings lots of new features and changes to the table. So guys if you like this video and find it useful then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.